invisible virus spread from one country to another country in an unstoppable manner. So far, the COVID-19 outbreak has spread to all continents except Antarctica. Obviously, China is not the only victim of this disaster. What will humans do when this century plague sweeps the globe? Facing the virus, the common enemy of humans, somebody chose to complain, hate, and ignore everything, while others chose to fight together. My understanding of uh, this disease, I know that uh, it's possible to stop, it's possible to, to win this battle. Because I'm in front line, I see the news, I know that they are fake news, but I do not uh, take care of that. I'm Dr. Glelea Houle I'm from Benin Republic in West Africa. My responsibility was to take uh, the, to do the screening of the patient, to take the temperature of, of some uh, common patient, to register the case, the new case, or those who are on suspicion of uh, the disease. What made me really deep impression about my colleague was um, most of them didn't see their family for nearly one month. It's really touching. Their doctor, their son, their ma mother, all are in their house. After that, when you see the medical personnel with the protective cloth, after 10 hours, more than 10 hours before getting out, you will see from the start uh, with the face mark all in the face. It's really touching with the sweat, all these things, it's really touching. Chinese doctors give their life to save China. Virus doesn't know any country, doesn't know any races, doesn't know color. We have many viruses who appear to in Europe, in uh, Africa, and then this time it appears here. We don't have to give a country name to a virus. We have to be united as one to fight this virus. In 2014, it's true that uh, Africa has a huge uh, infectious disease called Ebola. And uh, China was uh, the first country who come to help Africa in that battle. So those are the staff who give me the motivation to say, if China, I know if it happened to my country, Benin, Chinese people, Chinese governments should be the first country who support us. At present, the death toll caused by COVID-19 has exceeded the death toll from SARS and Ebola, and its infectivity is far more than most viruses known to humans. COVID-19 brings not only death to humans, but also complaining, panic, and forcibly restricts human economic activities. This is Neil Bush. I'm the chairman of the George Herbert Walker Bush Foundation for U.S.-China Relations. There are just so many stories that, that have impressed me about China's development. First of all, it's, it'd, be, it'd be hard for me to criticize China's system that has been so successful over the past 40 years in achieving amazing goals of lifting people out of poverty, creating jobs, giving people opportunities they couldn't, couldn't ever have imagined. Your country has done so much to keep the virus in China and to keep people from China catching the virus at the expense of your economy. And if this virus ever gets into the United States, it's hard to imagine the United States being able to muster the courage to say, okay, we're gonna shut our economy down for like four or five weeks because we don't want people to get sick.
the attack of an unknown virus outbreak in the science fiction Black Spring, written by the Japanese novelist Muniki Yamada, reads that if there is such a virus in the world, even if there are many dangers, even if it is only a futile struggle, I think humans will do their best to resist. In the spring of 2020, this is no longer science fiction, but the reality we are faced with. I'm Marianne Fredericks. I am a common councilman in the City of London, and I am chairman of the Health and Wellbeing Board. The speed that China has actually dealt with the issue has shown the rest of the world what we need to do. So we have seen uh, with other countries that have seen a number of cases, they have taken the learnings from China and, and employed them. So the sooner we contain the virus, the less it will spread. It will show that we need to work together if we're going to solve the problem that we all face. So I hope that by coming together, we will resolve more than just this issue. We'll hopefully address all the other really pressing issues that we face globally. We're all in it together. We are one people. We are one world.